We're actually quite regular. My parents started to do the fair about 19 years ago and uh, we're still excited as in the first year. Uh, I think it's going to be very interesting to see whether the concept in, a, in, a, in, in two split shows uh, will attract as many people to Tefaf, so I don't think that it actually will re replace, but will be a great addition and yes, we will try um, to participate at Tefaf New York. I think we're quite lucky in that case as we are in control of our own creations. Um, most of our things have just been finished the week before Tefaf. I think in today's world where people travel a lot and um, unfortunately they don't visit as much galleries anymore, it is important to showcase pieces all around the world. Um, so I think it's actually, it's actually a benefit uh, because people who have not necessarily been in touch with the arts suddenly get to see paintings they wouldn't see otherwise. But definitely it's a challenge to always present something new each, each month or each fair. I have seen something uh, which I would like to have, it's in work by Fred Erdikes and he plays with uh, aluminium or bronze and um, by light hitting it, it creates a word at the wall. It's very beautiful and I think it's very twer quirky. Usually I don't have favorites, uh, but I just want to show a little bit what we do and because my father taught us that uh, materials shouldn't be limitation, they should ra rather be the starting point of something exciting. So we have created a very classical Hemmerle earring with pebbles on the bottom. So they are actually stones from, from Corsica which we carved and hollowed them out. And So something as basic as a pebble can be part of a very elegant earring.